With the rise of Web 2.0, teachers are continually expected to integrate new technologies into their existing pedagogy, with interactive whiteboards being the most common form in primary classrooms today. Although praised for their potential for pupil interactivity, interactive whiteboards are continually criticised as being a tool that the teacher interacts with rather than the pupils, and is promoting a very teacher-centred education where the teacher is simply assuming the position at the front of the class using the interactive whiteboard as an alternative delivery platform. However, with the introduction of new technologies to be used in conjunction with interactive whiteboards such as the smart range of projectors, tables, cameras, slates and so on, there seems to be a change. With pupils of today being constructivist learners using technology as a cognitive tool, with such new technologies mentioned, Heppel 2006 suggests there is a shift from the teacher delivering their wisdom to many pupils using a set curriculum to the pupils creating their own content, learning from their peers, with education becoming more learner-centred. Philip, 2007, agrees with this idea, stating that education is becoming more learner-centred and that because of Web 2.0 technologies, teachers are simply becoming facilitators of education rather than transmitters. Although there are increasingly more teachers becoming used to new technologies like the interactive whiteboard in the classroom, and it seems the gap between digital immigrants and natives is closing, or even newer technologies widening the gap again. Although interactive whiteboards have been established and many teachers use them now, will there become a point when this new old generation of people are used to learning alongside even newer technologies and teachers will again be struggling to adapt them into their pedagogy, much like when interactive whiteboards were first introduced? With technologies like interactive whiteboards constantly evolving in the primary classroom, Paul Gee stated that educators must determine the new learning styles of students and develop educational methodology and teaching strategies to meet the learning needs. As so I'm looking to become a teacher myself, interactive whiteboards and everything that comes with them is something that I will come into contact with and most likely be expected to use and know how to use to a good standard. After going through primary education in the mid-90s to the early noughties, I suppose I would be expected to have an understanding of new technologies like interactive whiteboards, but that's not really the case. Interactive whiteboards were only in a few of my primary school classes and were rarely used. Also, the only times I have actually used them is in college and university, and only then to conduct PowerPoint presentations on. I have observed lessons on placement where an interactive whiteboard was being used and to great effect. And I think with the correct training and open mind to adapt into even newer technologies that might be around if or when I become a teacher, there will be something that I would want to use to help aid pedagogy, but not to the extent where I become reliant on them and take total control of the lesson. Mm -hmm.